This first question is from Danny Robertson off of Instagram, and he wants to know what's the best way to progress your core, your upper body, and your endurance while you're being sidelined with a knee injury, and especially during basketball. Well, this is a really important question because a lot of people have knee injuries, and so you gotta know how to progress properly with thinking about all the things that you can do. But remember, you gotta think first about what your doctor and your physical therapist tell you as far as what are restrictions and limitations to what you can and can't do. And then number two, make sure you don't piss off your knee. You're in the process of healing, so you want to make sure that you're taking care of that uh, first and foremost so that it can heal. Now when it comes to your core, think of your knee injury as an opportunity to revisit some of the basic, the, the fundamentals. So with your core, there's a lot of exercises that are done on your back. Things like core braces and core marches, uh, dead bugs, things like that that are really effective in, in helping to target the lower abdominals in a very very isolated way and this can help to build your foundation so that when you're you're clear to go your core will be nice and strong from a foundational standpoint now when it comes to upper body um, obviously with a knee injury you're not going to be able to pick up a lot of the free weights and dumbbells like you typically would so yeah this is another opportunity to maybe get back on some machines, really focus on just building some strength, keeping your muscle until you're cleared to start picking up free weights, which probably shouldn't be too long. And then with your endurance and your conditioning, the last thing that we're gonna talk about, think about all the things that you can do. So these are things like uh, stationary bike, the elliptical, swimming, all excellent to help maintain your cardiovascular conditioning. But remember with basketball, there's nothing that's gonna mimic exactly the, the needs that you're gonna have when you play. So just be patient with yourself, do what you can to maintain, and then when you're cleared, start building back slowly as you start to feel better and you will get back. So I wish you all the best with your recovery and thanks for the question, let me know how you do. All right, this next question is asking about how to incorporate kettlebells into the current workout routine. Well, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have the proper skill and technique. So hire a certified kettlebell instructor that will take you through the progressions and make sure that you're being safe. Number two, I have a, a lot of great videos on my YouTube channel that will show you how to do kettlebells properly. And I even have a free giveaway on my website. It's called the Power Endurance Pro 20 that will take you through the entire progression. And number three, if you don't have that available to you, check out Strong First Organization. They offer workshops all around the country that will are two-day courses that will give you all the ins and outs that help you feel comfortable incorporating it into your workout program. Thanks for the question. Now lastly, I've been getting a lot of questions about what a ketogenic nutrition program looks like because I mentioned it in my blog this week around bone broth. Now to clear this up, what it is, is really about shifting your body away from the typical carbohydrate dependence that we, we grow up on to being more fat adapted. That means that you're shifting your body to utilize fat for fuel. And the way that you're gonna do that is move away from having a balance of protein, carbohydrates, and fat and move more towards having around 75% fat in your diet with about 15% protein and 5% carbohydrates. Now if you stick with that over a period of time, your body will start to shift more towards being fat adapted. Now this is really beneficial for athletes that are involved in endurance, but not so great for athletes that are doing a lot of anaerobic work. But it's still a very healthy way to go and I'd still recommend trying it out, um, but definitely get some guidance from a professional. All right, great question and thank you.